I get my eye on this one. Okay, that's a bad, bad joke. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. No, I won't. I'm just going to keep going with it. So, uh, this uh, particular image, Cyclops and all that, I, I was actually sort of being truthful on this. You may have noticed with a lot of these uh, drawings, they're not exactly my best. I've done a lot better with a lot of other things. And I noticed that my uh, when I'm drawing by hand, it's a lot... Uh, the quality is nowhere near as good as when I'm doing things digitally. And like I said before, I, I've been spoiled with digital um, methods and digital products like iPads and, and Photoshop and all that stuff. And so, um, again, this is a good practice to get me back into this. So, but with this one, I, I guess like when I've been doing a lot of these drawings, I've been kind of frustrated for the most part, because they just don't look nearly as good. And I, I feel often, like, bad. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll be at conventions, and someone will commission me, and I'll, I'll do something, and it's nowhere near nowhere near my best. So I, I do think, yeah, like I said before, get a sketchbook, and, and start doing this yourself. Because once you put the work in, that's the only way you're ever going to improve. So... Um, for this, I tried, uh, some different things, uh, some different techniques, which you're not going to see the process of because I forgot to record that. Um, there's the one half where I'm doing the, the basic inking, and then there's the second half where I do the brushwork, and I totally forgot to hit the record button on my phone. So, <laughs> you're not going to see that, but towards the end of the video, you'll see the finished image itself. Um... Yeah, but for this particular one, I did put a little bit more effort. It, oh, well, also, I should probably preface this. I don't have, like, a professional phone rig. I took an old um, lamp thing I got from, like, a Goodwill, and I and I cut out the cord for the lamp part, and then I just sort of taped uh, a, a Go... Um, yeah, GoPros? No. Selfie sticks. I, I, I taped a selfie stick to... Uh, to, to the old light thing, <laughs> and that's how I uh, <clears throat> mounted my phone up so I can it can record, because nothing I had was at a proper angle. I mean, I could stack a bunch of boxes, and I have a little self-standing phone thing, but it's not that good. So, um, the device, the, 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 my setup right now is actually really bad. It, it's actually, my phone is like right next to my face. As I'm as I'm doing all these drawings, and I can't get too close, otherwise I'm going to be like in the image, or I'm casting a shadow over it. So I have to I have to keep myself at a certain posture, at a certain uh, position, just so I can record what's going on. So I'm not at the angle I'm usually at, and often when I look at the at the finished image, like I'm looking at right now, uh, the face is so off. Then I'm looking at the at the, uh, the the video right now as I'm recording that myself. And actually, it doesn't look so bad because it's at that angle. And if you're looking at it from the angle, it doesn't look so bad. But if you're looking at it straight up, like like, uh, like right at your face, like, like a regular book, it, it looks super off. It, it's super slanted. Um, and actually, the whole body is too. So I think it has something to do with the position I'm in. So that's something else to keep in mind. I do have a um, a drawing um, a collapsible drawing stand. I could try, but I don't have a proper table. I like I have my desk with my all my computers and and toys and stuff on. Um, so I, uh, I I it would require me to do a a different setup. Not saying I couldn't. I mean, I do have another table, but I that's where I store all my all my comic books. And, oh man, I mean, to make this properly, it would mean I have to take some take a whole day to, to reorganize my room to get a proper setup. So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, we are like almost, well, we're not even almost halfway through the month. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I'm late getting this video up as as per usual, um, just because I mean I I did the drawing last night and 
And then once I finished it, and I I edited half the way the movie, and the it was Thanksgiving, the Canadian Thanksgiving. I should preface that, and I was already like on the verge of passing out. So I just thought, no, I'm just gonna go to sleep. So yeah, so here's the other little little Halloween continuing the, the the monster girl, although this is more of a monster woman kind of a thing. So I did a little female Cyclops. And actually I, I liked um, a lot of the concepts in this particular drawing. Um, but I would feel a lot happier if I if I did it differently. And I probably could. Uh, just for right now, it's not I'm just not in the position to do that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to it someday. Um, it was actually a lot of fun to do this. Um, I, I even tried a few different uh, little watercolor techniques in the backgrounds when I was doing the sky. Um, that's when I would take like a, just a wet brush, go over it, and then dab bits of ink and let the ink travel throughout the, uh, uh, the, the, the wire onto the paper. Which, is, which created a, some neat little effects. Um, but whether or not I would ever keep doing that, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's something I, I would probably try again later. Um, not too much right now. I also discovered that my inkwell is almost dry, which is surprising. I didn't think I, uh, I'd i be running out this fast. When That tells me I'm probably going to have to get a fair bit more uh, just to get through the month. But then again, I, I think I'm using more ink than the average person. Um but there, I mean, this is all learning experiences. I didn't know that that's what would happen with inkwells. So, yeah. Well, I think that's it for now. Um, I will probably get on with another Inktober drawing. Uh, today is Screech. Ooh. 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 Screech. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Hmm. I'll, I'll ponder on that. I might go out and see that new Blade Runner movie. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, today is the 9th, which is officially uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, but we had that yesterday. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later.